to Scotland to visit Alan Thornhill's exhibition in the Scrounge Museum. And what an exhibition for I, I personally think one of the great, great sculptors. A very great artist indeed. And here we have these bronzes, pottery, drawings, portrait busts. What a show it is. Just look at the humanity of these portraits. Just look at the models. I love, I just love how he's done the lips of this old guy here. You know, I have to say, as a sculptor myself, I carve granite, I'm a carver, not a model. I, I admire this. It, 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 it's just wonderful. I know an artist would love this, do me. But look at these ears. And Alan has actually captured a sense of caricature in the portrait, which is wonderful. Wonderful. And look at the sensitivity. The art. Beautiful. Great sensitivity and compassion and love in Alan's work. Wow. Alan's work is all about love. I would have this guy cast as Dante, the Italian poet. We have a moon man. Doesn't he look like a moon man? Although I'm reminded of the Tolan people, the people found in the mud. Once again, Alan see the diversity of subject matter and handling. Self portrait of Alan Tolan. Look at the drive, look at the passion, look at that attack from the paper. Look at this wee piece here, this beautiful little bronze. I don't think I've seen the act of love making so exquisitely formed. It's just beautiful. Leg over love it. Here we have a piece called Underground in all your men in relief casting. And just look at Alan's grasp of the human figure. The monumentality, that exquisite squatting minor there. Just that back and his backside and everything. It's just so beautiful. And it's just a mastery of, of the figure. And it might be like to the mind. You can feel the confines of the mind. You can feel the weight of all the mountain above them. Alan also is a painter. Look at his paintings, these wonderful landscapes. Astonishing. Wonderful use of colour and brush. What a versatile artist. Struggle. The empathy with human condition. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. A great guy, a wonderful human being, and a wonderful person. I'm the best. He's just a wonderful, wonderful artist. My courage. Fantastic. And I was saying a little earlier, but then before we started the film, I was putting my hand on his shoulder and I was just saying, This is a divine moment. And it is one sculptor to the next. And this guy here, he's better than those sculptors I know. A very, very, very important artist. Full of that. And well, I can I can I can do that weeping in a moment. Um copiously. <laughs> and this is why I you said it's just to be came all the way from Scotland to make this speech. <laughs> <laughs> the Scots are very good, right? No, but it is, it is a great privilege, really, that both these people have got up at incredibly early this morning and flown all the way here in pouring rain and fog and all the rest of it. To, well, to see the exhibition, that was by priority, actually, I wanted them to see it. But that's what have a film made as well. It's just, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. 
years and years and years and years and years and years of work. And I'm more than a woman of 66, this guy's sitting next to me, he's 91, and I'm going, you looks fabulous. My original piece is a big one, uh, fired, fired and killed, hollowed out, they were, they, they were hollowed as they were built, cut up into pieces, into pieces small enough for me to fit into my kill when you come to yeah. Well, that was made out of a, a, a piece that collapsed on me. Yeah. And I, I made out of those collapsed sculpture on the floor, yeah. I made that one. Okay. Yeah. That's the one thing you can't do when you can't have a granite. <laughs> you can't sort of take a bit off and stick it on it. It's not possible. I don't know. You've got the edge you guys have been. It was this little thing that's called Lego Robux because I just said to you, I have never ever seen Beauty, simplicity, and passion. Fantastic. This whole world is full of passion. This man here, this man here. Oh, I did the right thing, didn't I? Get him here. You know, this man is quite 91 years young. And he's just. Absolutely phenomenal. I think he's one of the very, very, very great names in sculpture. And it's my privilege to have known him.